In this tutorial, we will introduce you how to use Import Relay Wizard to import relay setting from Relay Database to OneLiner Network, and how to retrieve the setting if there is a database setting request linked to the relay. You could import the relay setting either from a relay group or from an existing relay. If you import from a relay group, double click the relay group, click Import, select Aspen Relay Database and click Next. Select the substation, select the relay, and select setting. For the setting, you could select either from an existing setting request or from setting requests that find using predefined query rule. If you want to save the link to the relay, check this checkbox and click Next. On this page, it shows you all the active overcurrent elements and the distance elements. Select the elements you want to import and click OK. If you want to import relay setting from an existing relay, double click the relay group, then double click the relay. Remove the link if there is one and then click Import Settings. On this page, it will show you the active element that matches current relay type only. Click OK to import. This table shows you the difference between current setting value from the relay and the new setting value from the relay database. Click OK to apply the change. To retrieve the setting from a relay, you have to make sure there is a relay link available for this relay first, then click Retrieve Settings to retrieve. Before we start, let me make some changes first. Here's the change we just applied to the relay setting, and here's the setting value from the relay database. Click OK to restore the settings. Instead of retrieving the setting for single relay, we could do batch retrieve. Click Relay, Relay Database, Relay Data Link Dashboard. On this page, it shows you all the relays have relay link. You could sort them with relay group, relay type, relay ID, and other features. You can also use the filter tool on your right hand side to filter these relays. For example, if we want to show the relays in area 1 only, we check this area 1 and then we click here to apply the change. Then we can restore it. The same thing could be applied to the zones, one line a timestamp, and the update status. Here we select all the relays to retrieve. This message box tells us we have retrieved the settings for 16 relays. Four of the relays has the setting updated and there's no updated failures. You can refer to the TTY window for the details. The value on the left hand side is the setting value from the relay and the, the value on the right hand side is from the relay database. And we have one, two, three, four relays have the setting updated. For relay link, you could add, delete, and edit. If you want to edit the link, click here. You could select the substation on your left-hand side and select the relay on your right-hand side. Click advanced, you could select the relay setting from existing setting requests or from setting requests that found using predefined query rule. The script name is SEL-421. Group name is S1, element name is E21G. You could switch to other scripts on this dialog box. Here are the two scripts that are available for current relay type, and uh, you could see more if you check this uh, Show All Available Mapping Script checkbox. 
For query rule definition, you need to open your database file with ilylibmap3.exe program. Locate the database file and then log into the database. On the bottom, find the tab query rules. Click it. On this page, it shows you all the existing predefined query rules. You can add, delete, and uh, edit a rule. For example, if you want to add a new rule, on your right hand side, you can define this rule either with user SQL or with wizard. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you.